I talk a lot in describing my journey with people about bandwidth, and that is, I think, the hardest part about getting a cancer diagnosis is suddenly you're in fight or flight mode and everything in your life is a reaction and everything is related to what the doctors are dictating and that can be really difficult. So it wasn't until about a year and a half into my stage four diagnosis that I finally had the bandwidth to actually explore something beyond um, taking a pill that I couldn't pronounce every day and dealing with the side effects from that. So I ended up getting a break in treatment and I met with a doctor named Dr. Career, who is an integrative medicine doctor based here in Colorado. And he works with advanced stage cancer patients to help them you know, to do blood work and look where their deficiencies are and recommend supplements based on that and to really help them um, with their diet and their relationship with food. So that was the start for me. The first time I went to see him, I was, I was so excited to finally meet somebody who I felt like could help me and give me the information I needed to change my mindset. I think I was approaching food and diet as I have to be on a diet. I've never been on a diet before and it terrifies me. And he taught me the 80-20 rule. And he said, Katie, if 80% of the time you are eating plant-based foods and eating healthy and eating clean, that other 20%, if you wanna go take your nephews to get an ice cream or you wanna you know, sink your teeth into a burger after a long week, that's okay. That's something that I've adopted and that's really helped me as I've gone through this journey. Tips for food and your relationship with food is you can't do it all at once. I think that's, that's why I put it off for so long because I felt like I have to revamp everything right now and that's so daunting. So my advice to people is start with one meal at a time. Start with a new breakfast that's healthier or start with a new lunch or dinner and, and once you get that down, then you move to the next meal. And then with breakfast, we do smoothie bowls or I do a gluten-free oatmeal that I make in bulk uh, for the week. And that's another tip is to meal planning as, as much as it's not an easy thing to do, it actually can make or break healthy eating for the week. So that's something that I think is really important. Dr. Career, while we talked a lot about diet, he also taught me a lot about like visualization and the importance of, you know, visualizing the life you want to live. And so that's something that's been a big part of my journey as well. Um, one, of, one of the first things that he assigned me was to kind of picture 10 years from now, where, where do you want to be? And my thing was, I want to be standing on the cliffs of Moore with my husband. The power of that visualization and the importance of the little things that we can do that we can control, that we can um, have a part in when we're living these lives dictated by doctors, you know, for me all over the country, uh, but having that control. And that, so I think that's something really big that Dr. Career taught me is just the different paths you can take, the different things that you can do to help yourself along the way.